Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome everyone, this is Dom. Welcome to Season 3 of Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Realism. Broadcast. I forget what I keep on calling this. Uh, <laughs> we are playing in version 0.2.0. I know it's kind of hard to see because the white from the clouds is covering it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we need to start a new season because of the new update. And I can't even open the old save file uh, to play. Uh, I could potentially figure out how to downgrade and then use all the old mods, which I still have saved somewhere on the desktop. But uh, I went ahead and updated every one of the mods. And uh, this save file will be now defunct. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but... We'll see. We might come back to it and try later. Uh, I might try something else later. But we're going to start out uh, a new season in the current version. Uh, it's really early here. And I'm still drinking my coffee. Ah, good stuff. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new save file. KRB. Season 3. And apparently my cat wants to be part of the recording today. Hello. No. Wait, what is she doing? Anyways, uh, we gotta go ahead and pick up. Ooh, there's a lot more flags. Hmm. Hmm. There's a couple of flags from the mods. There's quite a few flags from the mods. Um, anyways, we're gonna pick ours. Uh, we usually have the same flag. I love my flag. I love that. The art that somebody made for me back in the day. Uh, I don't remember your name. I do apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, we could also pick the. Uh, Difficulty, the missing crew respawn, avoid quick loading, no, sorry, allow, averting flights, uh, hire crew members for flights, auto entry purchase required, research, no entry, okay, indestructible facilities, allow stock vessels, okay, so this, I wanted to play on mod moderate, this is actually what I was looking at, um, I know we could mess with these sliders and such, but really what I want to do is make it a little bit more difficult for me, because I like this game a lot. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it, uh, I knew that the missing crew respawn and such like that was kind of killing my experience and potentially yours. I had a couple comments about it. So we're going to pick moderate. Uh, I, it's been so long since I looked at the new features in 0.25. Uh, so we're going to play on moderate and we're going to play career. Let's go ahead and start. Now, there's this little pool over here. I know that this is useful for something. There's like campaigns we can choose. Now, what this does is it takes 5% gains and gives it funds for each one unit of reputation. I don't know what reputation does. If you guys do, leave me a comment. Um, there's quite a few things I have no idea what it does. I would like to have uh, money, more money. So one of these I will definitely be choosing for my active strategy. Uh, in the future, but if you guys can go ahead and tell me what the reputation is used for, um, uh, that would be great. And we're done! This is everybody's favorite first rocket, uh, to complete the first contract at least, or at least get enough science to unlock a new node. Uh, basically just the crew, pod, there's actually a secret decoupler here, Shh, it's not a decoupler, it's a... <laughs> it's a, uh, heat shield. Uh, we have Bill ready to fly favorites and uh Kerbal engineer there i thrust limited the rocket and i have parachute of course so let's go uh i thrust limited the rocket so that we didn't reach my gosh the cat's going insane um so that we didn't reach too high of an at altitude uh not altitude uh speed sorry turn on sas okay my throttle controls backwards good thing we don't need that Pitch is okay, roll is okay, yaw is backwards. Okay, we need to invert both of those. Remember that. And I think we're ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him straight up. I know it's kind of ridiculous how slow it goes up, but uh, he'll the thrust to weight ratio will increase slowly uh, as we lose fuel or, or weight from the fuel. He'll probably be able to escape the atmosphere, actually, with this setup. Mm, probably not sure I don't really want him to so when we get up to a higher speed we'll slowly try to pitch over not higher speed higher altitude um, we'll slowly try to hit pitch over well the speed does help uh, so that we can change our 
our vector, our prograde vector to more non-vertical, maybe towards the water. Let Bill kind of crash into the water. Um, so let's go ahead and buy right around 20,000, uh, sorry, 2,000 kilometers, uh, sorry, two kilometers, 2,000 meters. Yeah, we'll start to pitch, oop, wrong direction. See, my yaw control's backwards. Pitch over just slightly, we'll go to right around there. Try to uh, have a more gradual descent back to Kerbin if uh, we end up going too high. Uh, I think we are just reaching the next, we're waiting 5,000, yep, there it goes. So we got both of those contracts done and over with, and hopefully this fuel runs out eventually soon. I don't want my Apple apps to get too high. I think we are going to pitch over to the 45 approximately. This is so weird. Oh, I'm losing control here, I'm losing control here. Upper atmosphere, you need to come faster. Upper atmosphere, you need to come faster. Okay, let's go. I need to get back to the 45. I need to get back to the 45. Okay, I'm just gonna roll over because my yaw control is backwards and I don't like that. I am pushing my pitch. I'm trying to pull my nose up as hard as I possibly can right now. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of atmospheric effects going on. I did not pay attention uh, with the rocket. Yes, okay. Once we go ahead and hit our Apple apps, we should be slower. I'm gonna try to pitch this guy into a better position for decoupling here. It's, it's a kind of a, a cheaty way to decouple. I really can't get him to get off this vector. Ferrobaro space! You beat me again. Okay, I think we're just about to start descending. Once we start descending, I'm trying to get over to the... No, it won't work. I wanted to have this thing so it didn't destroy me, but I think the ejection force on this is pretty darn significant. Um, the decoupling force here. So we are going to try to pitch up a couple. There we go. Okay, cool. Turn off our SAS. Let ourselves kind of stable out on our... Uh, retrograde vector and come in slowly and painlessly hopefully <sighs> I have a feeling that because I read through some of the mod changes ooh, uh, yeah stage destroyed I didn't have a parachute on those stages or on those two things um, but yeah uh, I had read through some of the mods uh, changes it seemed like the um, deadly reentry mod so now takes account of parachutes I'm not sure if it always did but I read it uh, on the, the page itself so I'm going to try to arm this parachute a little bit lower when we get a little bit lower speeds um, I'm not seeing very much temperature issues though and my shielding has not changed which is good which means uh, we're going slow enough that the reentry effects actually don't take effect What's our atmosphere at? Let's go ahead and arm this at 6,000. There it goes. This should slow us down gradually. A little bit more than uh, the atmosphere already has. And hopefully we can get Bill home safely. We shall see though. Bloop, 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 doo, doo, doo. And I think it arms at or fully expands where does it 700 that's cutting it close buddy that is cutting it close mm, hopefully the g-force isn't too much oh yes that's right i forgot about real shoot and its awesomeness <laughs> of slowly deploying parachutes okay so we're gonna bring him home and return back to the space center we have recovered our vessel. I did a couple of sciencey things in the water. Uh, I got a EVA report, surface sample, and a crew report from the, after we landed there. Uh, and we just recovered all that stuff. Uh, we got uh, 1,400 bucks back, or monies back, from
from that and we also completed both of our contracts for low trajectory uh, and also we got bill back i don't think we got any reputation that's interesting or maybe we did but anyways um we are at 44k let's go ahead and grab another uh grab that one of course Flight test reel shoot, cone shoot, and flight over Kerbin. Uh, I am not going to choose that one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. All these are in flight over Kerbin. I don't like looking or trying to like shoot for these, uh, for those uh, windows of opportunity. We have now enough uh, research or uh, science to get our first node, which is awesome. Okay, already got it. Good. Uh, that means we now own this node. We just need to buy the parts. Purchase 10 parts. Oh, okay. For all the monies, yes, we will do that. We have now own all those parts. Uh, I don't really know if I needed all of them, but yeah. I don't... What the... Um... I, I don't, where's the next node? Next node! Come in, please! Aha! There it is. Um, that was weird. Uh, we have 15 science to spend on something else. I'm looking through survivability. I don't know if that's exactly what I want to go for. Uh, because the only thing it has the radial shoots is what we really, really need. It'd be really nice to have them. Um, mostly because we can recover all of our parts that way. Ooh, radial decouplers, nose cones. Yeah, we'd be able to do very, very well with these, uh, radial shoots. So I think we're going to go for those. Also, we can do, uh, we can get all of these things, but mostly I want the radial shoots for decoupling issues, but I really want to, oh, I already have decouplers. Cool. I have decouplers. I have bigger tanks and yeah, I'm going to need radial shoots and this. So we're going to need to get both of these in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.